LaTeX is a typesetting program. It's very useful for all sorts of documents, but its particular strength is when creating documents with a large amount of mathematics in them. Most word processors are not particularly good at typesetting mathematics, especially when you go beyond particularly simple equations, and even then, the fonts and layouts of equations tend to be quite unappealing visually. So, when creating a document, there are various stages. So first of all, you will create the text that will appear in your document. This will then have some formatting applied to it to produce a final outputted version to be displayed, or possibly to be printed, depending on the use of the document. Now in a word processor, most of these activities are tied to, up together, so there tends to be a lot of focus on doing the visual formatting at the same time as creating the content of the document which is not necessarily the best way to proceed and can make one focus too much on the visual appearance rather than thinking about what we're going to write. So, the LaTeX program itself creates text files. So here's an example of a very simple LaTeX document and there are various things that need to be specified before the LaTeX document, this text file, can be turned into some output. So there's a format called DVI, which is device independent, and this has in the past tended to be the most common format produced by LaTeX users. However, PostScript and PDF are also more, more recently commonly used due to the advantages of being able to transfer these easily and view them on different systems, and also to include more sophisticated objects in your document. So, the anatomy of this particular document. First up, in the particular version of LaTeX that's being used here, which is LaTeX 2 Epsilon, we have the document class statement. So here we have a selection of class files that can be chosen, and these define particular formats that would appear in various types of document, ranging from a simple letter to an article, which might be a journal article, and all the way through to a book and various customizations of these such as the memoir class which is particularly good for creating books reasonably easily. So then in any LaTeX file we have a begin and end document and within the begin and end document statement we have a series of text and various markup commands to tell the LaTeX program how to turn this particular document into the thing that we see on our screen or print out. So here we're creating a title manually. We've got the begin and end commands for the center environment. Not surprisingly, this centers the text on the page and it centers the text that appears within the environment. So what we also do here is use the slash large command. And this is one of a series of commands that can increase or decrease the size of text. We then move on to the body of our short document. So we've got a short statement about the R statistical software, and we've got about two sentences, maybe 50, 60 or so words in total. So within this statement, we've got a couple of cases where R and S are mentioned, and using the slash text BF command to convert these from standard format into boldface. The various other things that we can do, such as using italics, slanted typeface, and so on. So if we convert this into a PDF document, and then we view this particular document, we can see we've got a very simple thing here. So we've got our title, the R statistical software, which has been centered, and we've got a short gap to our first paragraph here. And you could just about see that the letters R and S especially if you compare them to the non bold versions, have been turned into bold. So now we might want to look towards a slightly more complicated example. So in this document here, we've got some text taken from the Project Gutenberg website for the um, book The Golden Ass, written by Lucius Apuleius. So what we've got here is the seven chapters. So you'll see that... Um, the section commands have been highlighted here. So here we've got slash section, 
which tells LaTeX that it wants to create a section at this point. And any time a section is created, the same formatting is applied to the header. So that's a quite a useful thing because if you want to change how it, all of the sections look, you make one change to the section command and everything is updated. So here we're going to create a title in our document. So we've also got an article. So we define the title slash title and the text within those brackets is now saved as um, this object title. Slash off is redefined as Lucius Apuleius and then we use the make title command to make the title for this particular document. So we've then got a whole series of text here. So the first line we've turned into italics. And if we open up the document here, we'll see we've got the title made. So it automatically puts today's date in, unless you specify that you want a different date or no date. Then we've got the first chapter, so that's a particular style for section headings. And we've got the italics here for a statement that we put in to the text IT here, which is for text italics. And if we scroll down a bit, we'll see we come to the second chapter and so on throughout the whole document.